Now to the holiday shipping alert, the first deadline to mail your presents and get them under the tree by Christmas morning arrives today. Eva Pilgrim's here now with the crucial dates you need to know. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. It's that time of year. The clock is ticking to get your presents delivered on time today. As you mentioned, is the first of the shipping deadlines. FedEx ground economy packages have to go out today to make it in time for Christmas with the U.S. Postal Service ground advantage and first class mail you have until Saturday. Okay, so the next round of shipping deadlines starts on Monday with the U.S. Postal Service priority mail, then Tuesday UPS three day, FedEx's express saver, and for the real procrastinators let me just warn you now you have less time to get packages delivered because Christmas falls on a Monday so your absolute last days to order and get presents will be the end of next week UPS's next day cutoff is the 21st for FedEx same day you get until December 22nd guys get those packages in the mail <laughs> that's right as you said the clock is a ticking all right Eva coming up we have the investigation after authorities say a passenger get this flew across the Atlantic without a passport, without a visa, and without an airline ticket. No idea how that happened. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, the jailhouse calls obtaining the case of the Florida woman arrested while allegedly trying to flee the country, charged in connection with her former son-in-law's murder. And this morning, we're remembering Andre Brower, how the Brooklyn Nine-Nine Star's friends are paying tribute to their beloved co-star. But first, Let's go to Sam Champion. And I say good morning to you and good morning, wind chills. So there's a lot of us in the country with a reinforcing shot of fresh air. That means we've got wind chills that are below zero teens and even 20s this morning, but we know you are traveling. So let's set you up with some real travel trouble over the next couple of days. We'll watch first this stalled front in South Florida. Now you can see that tropical moisture already developing in the Keys. This is going to be two to four inches of rain just in the next two days. And then some rough surf advisories, winds up to 40 miles per hour. That's a wet time for Florida, but let me set up even more here. So if we look to the West, this is a big snowmaker, about 24 inches of rain in the southern Rockies, but watch it make its move down to the south with this front. Pick up a spinning low, and now game is on for flooding rain and strong winds that not only hit Florida, but the entire east coast. Now, this is all the way through Sunday that we could see rainfall totals here that are more than four, five, six inches of rain and some real tough winds to take with that. So look at all that, up to 10 inches of rain in south Florida. Know that there will be travel trouble early next week on all east coast airports. That's weather around the nation. Here's what you can expect this morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Jeff Smith here with your AccuWeather the forecast. 39 right now in the city. Clear skies out there. You have some 20s in the normally colder spots north and west. The wind will be picking up during the day. We'll call it a breezy blend of sun and clouds. A high getting up to 46. Never feeling warmer than the 30s with that wind out there, though. Speaking of 30s, we won't get out of the 30s for a high tomorrow. Bright but chilly, about 39. 55 on Friday, so big recovery Friday. Saturday looking like the much better half of the weekend. You heard Sam mention that storm later Sunday into Monday. Coming up, if your iPhone gets stolen, what well, you need to know about the new Apple security feature. We'll be right back.